This tutorial is for one of Samsung's new handsets known as the i8910 HD. What this tutorial is going to show you is how to debrand your handset and remove the orange firmware which you can see here. To do this of course we need a PC and the required files. These are the files I've already got downloaded. To download these files all you have to do is visit the website shown below and there's links provided on where to go to get them. So first of all we've got the drivers. Now the drivers don't support Windows Vista but they do support Windows XP which is what I'm running here. We've got the ROM files, a how to PDF guide, a Symbian ROM flashing tool. So the first thing we need to do is install the drivers. So if we go into that folder and we select the first driver which is a PDA driver. Now on this file it's a INF file so we right click and install and go back and the phone driver double click on setup and install. As you can see it's installed go back and next is the Samsung mobile USB driver and double click on setup again so just wait a couple of seconds for this one agree to the license agreement click next and finish okay now the last one you might get an alert like this this is just saying the USB driver download driver is already installed I believe this is something to do with the Samsung PC tools that you get with the handset if you've already installed this software then this might be because you've already got the download driver installed already so we'll just click OK and finish so now we've got all the drivers installed we're ready to load the ROM flashing tool and get started. So let's double click. So there's a few things here but pretty straightforward. Now to start off with we need to point the software to the correct files. So if we we'll click on code XML file and go in all folders and there's your code folder there and the XML. And repeat that for the next one. And for the last one, the modem folder, and there we go. So we've got all our files selected. These options have come up. So all these come up as default, but if you just want to make sure that yours tally up with these ones that you can see here, don't worry about the Poland. That's just the country that it'll come up set up as. We can change the region and we can change the language to English. That's not a problem. Okay, so what we need to do now is get the handset and we need to first switch it off because we need to get it into download mode. Once the phone's switched off, what you're going to have to do is hold down two buttons, well three. One's the volume up key and the hold key which is used to lock your phone. Now the phone switched off, now Holding these two buttons down, the volume up and the hold, we now hold down the power on key. Keeping all three pushed in. There we go. Got a blue screen and as you can see, bootloader. So our phone's now ready to talk to the PC. So we get our cable and plug it in. Like so. Okay. Now back to the software. You'll notice that the connection is ready and the download start button is ready. So all we do is click download start. So as you can see here, we've got a bit of information popped up and the binary download is now starting. And if we have a look at the handset, you can see. So 
that this takes just a couple of minutes. So a bit boring. Just past our halfway mark now, so not much longer. So what this is doing, it's downloading the binary files to a handset. Once this gets to 100%, then it's going to flash the handset. Almost there. Okay, download complete. Got one more. Okay, so as you can see, it's now flashing. Okay. Just a couple more minutes, this bit takes not as long ok once this is finished what's going to happen is your handset is going to reboot now when it reboots what we want to do is disconnect the USB cable because otherwise it's just going to create a couple more prompts trying to connect to your PC again and we don't want this when it's booting up in a Polish language and phone reboots so disconnect the cable ok you can see the new Samsung screen booting up Right, okay, so basically what this is doing is asking you select your region in Polish, but rather than messing around doing that, if we just click cancel, agree to the time and date, okay, so there we go, I've got the new screen, back to the original firmware, we just need to change the language settings. Okay, so if we click on menu, okay, now what we want to do is click on this little one here, and then we want the telephone, and we want the flag. Right, so we can see it says Polish, click on there, select English. And yes. Now what's going to happen is it's going to reboot again with the new settings. There we go. 